Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell, we're back again. We're at the Equipment Exposition in Louisville, Kentucky. We're here for day two and we are so excited. We, uh, hold on guys, let me tilt you up a little bit. Uh, I feel like today is going to be a bigger turnout than yesterday. Um, it's very, very busy in here. We actually, we kind of found our way around this place a little tiny bit. So we think maybe next year we might know more what we're doing. But we kind of feel like we found the front entrance here where this gorgeous sign was at. So we figured what better place to start the video than right here. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to try not to be super, super chatty today because this place, I was thinking earlier, you know, a person could just make documentaries on a place like this so let alone YouTube videos there's so much to see so much to do it's just yeah trying to get as much footage as we can let y'all see everything you and maybe this will encourage you to hopefully plan for it next year if you can yes guys and we're so thankful to be here and hopefully we might get to meet some more subscribers like this has been an amazing trip we this is the first time that we've ever been recognized you know out in public by subscribers and guys this is like an amazing feeling and we're so thankful for each and every one of y'all and if you guys are not here we're thankful to be able to present this video for y'all so uh guys i guess we're gonna just get right into it and we're gonna turn around we're gonna walk right in here so come on guys Let's go Expo. Okay guys, we're in here. We've been walking around. Um, they have a lot of things in here that are called like spin to win. And you just, you stand in line, you get up there, you spin the little wheel and then you can win a prize. And uh, <laughs> so we did that right as soon as we came in uh, for the, what's it? I can't even remember uh, what the name is. Another brand that we hadn't, I had never heard of, uh, but they had some really cool looking hats. So we spun to win that and we won a hat guys. That was the hardest one to win. So I was, we're already, we're starting off good for for the hat collection. <laughs> what do we got? We've already got like Seven. two, well, we're oh, talking wait, today. Seven. Yeah, I think we've got two today and we haven't been here very long. So this uh, Ego setup right here looks really good. Um, we were just over there looking at the Greenworks um, booth and guys, Harley spotted blades of grass. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, he looked like he was doing a really good video. So, guys, if any of you are interested in some in-depth um, information about Greenworks Commercial, please go watch this video because it looks like it's going to be a fantastic video. He's going around with one of the, um, you know, one of the professionals there, and uh, he's showing him and, and talking about look like every product. So, I feel like that's going to be a very, very well in-depth video if any of you guys are interested in that we don't have any greenworks products ourselves but we do have one ego product it's a hedge trimmer we love it it's fantastic look at this setup right here though guys this is really cool they got this trailer you know with all this stuff and you know i'm not gonna lie okay i really wasn't fully down with the whole um 
battery powered stuff and nothing against it just because of you know I didn't think um, that it could hold up for the, like the stuff that we mow for the amount of time that we mow in the yards guys you've seen some of the yards that we mow some of our yards are acres and acres big you know so like we would need something that would have some serious serious battery life and a lot of the grass that we mow is very thick and coarse um, textured grass so it'd have to be something that was very very powerful as well yeah so uh but it seems like guys a lot of these uh manufacturers are coming out with uh better and better batteries i just did a little clip you just seen that one big commercial mower of greenworks it had the blower on the front i mean they have they have some really awesome stuff i cannot i can't lie i'm i'm, I'm intrigued about it and uh you know which yeah they have so much stuff you can uh test one i think i'm doing they were doing a test of it inside you can test that inside because it has no uh no fume so how awesome guys but uh yeah their products look really cool it's, it's really awesome yeah and for for uh residential people that mow their own yard i'd say definitely it'd be, i think they'd be worth it uh, but like I said, guys, we don't have any personal experience with any of their mowers or anything like that. But I just feel like they would be cool. And I also think these airless tires are pretty cool. Um, I'm seeing that on a lot, a lot of mowers now. And uh, which we haven't this year, thankfully. But I'm telling you, a couple of years back, guys, I feel like we single-handedly kept Joshua's tire up <laughs> in business. Because I feel like every other day we were having to go because one of our tires whether it was on the mower whether it was on the trailer the truck but check this out see that here's a little setup of some of these uh airless yeah. tires right here yeah but that's just like a little example of what i was talking about just in case any of you guys haven't seen anything like that yet but i imagine most people most of you guys have seen that um here we are we've moseyed back around here to the back of the com cadet booth again I just love this. Their stuff. I'm a sucker for Cub Cadet. You know, that's all all I've ever had, and that's you know, I'm not trying to knock any other brands, but I love my Cub Cadet. Uh, but yeah, guys, I talked a little bit. I talked a lot, a bit about these yesterday, so I won't I won't go into all that again. So um, if you didn't watch part one, if you didn't hear the stuff that we were talking about uh, with these mowers, then please go back and watch part one. But uh. Yeah, guys, this is an awesome looking mower right here, too. Got the big bagger on the back of it. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> but we're still getting used to uh, um, filming in public. I'm going to give him one of our YouTube cards. There you go. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, one of, our, one of our dreams would be to be sponsored by Cub Cadet because uh, if you guys follow along, you know all of our all of our equipment's Cub Cadet as far as our mowers. And that's, as of now, that's all we plan to buy. You know, just because that's our personal preference. I do think any of these mowers, any of these brands, as long as you take care of it, um, it'll take care of you. You know, so whatever you got, properly maintenance it, regularly maintenance it, and it'll be good, you know. But uh, yeah, for us personally, Cub Cadet, Cub Cadet has our heart, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, all right, come on, let's go see what else we can see.
we're at the DeWalt booth. Check this out, guys. This mower is a zero turn that can be sit down or it can also be converted to a stand on mower. Is that not the coolest thing you guys have ever seen in your entire life? So if you're a sit down person, if you prefer that, you can do that. Or if you have somebody else on your crew that's used to standing up, bam, five seconds, you turn this into a stand up mower. How awesome, guys. This is made by DeWalt. Fun fact, we just found this out. DeWalt, Cub Cadet, they're like partner companies. Who knew? Not me. But, yeah, so that's awesome. And this is an electric mower, too. Or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is, is an electric mower. That's what um, one of the guys over here was telling us that they're about to introduce these mowers next year. Let me try to get around here. Let's see. Look. So on a gas, so this is a normal screen. And then on a gas screen, you know, when you're in like real heavy stuff, you can hear that engine log down. You won't hear that with this. So this is like a, a load meter that is cut heavier and heavier heavy grass. This thing will ramp up and get into really heavy grass. The fastest time to top five will be the ground speed or increase your weight significantly. You can actually uh, build a slump. That is so awesome, guys. But, uh, yeah, they are really talking us up on these electric mowers. Um, this is a 60-inch cut, too. Uh, but, yeah, they, um, they've got the technology now. They are claiming that they can run just as long on a battery that you can on a full tank of gas on a mower. I do not have experience with that. I don't know for sure. But um, that's what they're claiming, guys. And they are claiming that the, um, the cutting power is very, very powerful. It even says here on the deck, um, high efficiency cutting technology. Um, it looks really cool, guys. It looks really, really cool. This is an awesome looking mower. But, uh, yeah, guys, it might be something that we, I don't know. Who's to say that we might not one day have an electric mower? I mean, you never know, guys. You just, you never know. But, uh, they keep making mowers like this, it might be worth a try. <laughs>
Okay guys, check this out. Tell me this wouldn't be cool to have on a job. Okay, so you got your truck, you got your dump trailer, which dumps to the side. How unique is that? I've never seen anything like that. Can you guys see it? Dumps to the side, but you also have your tilted lawnmower trailer on the back with very high sides and toolboxes. Guys, this is right here is extremely nice. I could just imagine pulling up, doing a mulch job with this, having our mowers. Because that's one thing too, like when we do mulch and mowing, um, we have to haul two trailers. Unless it's a very, very small amount of mulch on the front and we're just hauling like one, uh, one mower. But uh, besides that, like if we have a full load of mulch, like when we did the McDonald's, no, we have to uh, we have to bring another trailer with our mowers. So, uh, so that right there, guys, That's game that would be that would be a big help. Oh, and turns out that that mower that Dewalt stand on and ride on the battery power that was that's the first one ever. Yeah, the crossover. They're the very first ones to come out with the crossover technology for the mowers to be able to go from the sit on, right on, zero turn with the same steering capabilities of a stand on. You need to be able to just so quickly change it to stand on mower, sit down mower. Yeah, that's awesome. I've it's never introducing to the market next season. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that, which obviously not because that was the first one, and like, I, uh, it blows my mind. It was awesome. Whoever came up with that, they are about to be. Billionaires. That's all there is to it. <laughs> that was a genius. That was so genius. Uh, and people are going to buy it. People are definitely, most definitely, going to buy it. So, uh, yeah, we're still inside. We're trying to make it outside because they actually said they have that mower out there that we can try. And because uh, then they were saying um, that they've got the steering um, sensitivity down to where it's just, you know, it's a very like instant reaction. There's no lag or anything like that. Um, which, like I said, we don't have any experience, but supposedly that was one of the problems with other... Battery power ba equipment. Yeah, it was, um, it was just kind of like a lag. You know, you try to turn and it kind of stalls for just a second. Which, guys, if you um, run lawnmowers, do you know that can be very, very dangerous. Only time that's not dangerous is if you're on a very, very flat yard or something. But, uh, but yeah, I look forward to getting out there and trying it. So maybe we might make our way outside. So come on, guys. Let's go. Okay guys, real quick, we're back here at the back corner. Um, our subscribers from yesterday told us that Spencer's Lawn Care was somewhere back here in this corner. And uh, we did, we, we walked around and we found their booth. 
Guys, our booth is right there. Um, turns out they're not here. <laughs> or I don't know if they're here or not, but um, they have, you know, some of their um, their crew that's there uh, working in the booth, which is super awesome. Everybody's super kind and nice. They're doing um, a giveaway of some kind, like Harley entered us into that. And uh, yeah, that's super awesome. And we're right here by this cool setup. This is something I was going to mention too, which, you know, I mean, I guess obviously I should have known they'd have a lot of stuff like this um, here, but uh, it doesn't really apply much to us where we're from because, guys, we don't get very much snow at all. You would think we did, though, because people, if you if they find out there's a flurry going to happen, oh, they, they go, go buy all the milk, all the bread, <laughs> everything. They start freaking out. And then if there is some snow on the road, people don't know how to drive on it, you know. I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of people don't. But uh, you guys impress me, you guys up there from the uh, north. I mean, they have feet of snow that just get out there like it's nothing going to work no problem like they close our school down our all of our schools down so quickly but a, a lot of our um roads are dangerous like the mountain roads so if they get ice on them they can't send the buses so in in the event of that they do have to go ahead and close the school but um yeah guys like they have so much cool snow plowing equipment and stuff like attachments like this for trucks for mowers for side by sides for i've seen them on um atvs you know like They've just got so, so much cool stuff here. And just seeing this stuff right here kind of makes me wish I had some snow to plow because it's just like, I mean, guys, look at it. Let me walk you over here so you can see the side of it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous setup. But like, I mean, all the different um, companies and products. Um, you don't really need a dually doing that. Yeah, but yeah, that is just so cool, guys. And I feel like, um, yes, plowing the snow might be something pretty cool if you're, <laughs> if you're doing it in that. No, anything you're doing again, I'm sure, like, we appreciate, we're honest, but I'm sure the people in the towns do definitely we appreciate, appreciate all that. the hard workers. Yes, because I know that's another, that's another hard labor job, too, you know, keeping the streets and everything clear for people's safety, and we definitely appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to stop and say we found Spencer's Lawn Care. Uh, we're probably, uh gonna walk outside here in just a minute i know i said that a while ago but um we're actually probably about to really <laughs> really go out there um but yeah there's a lot to see there's a lot to do and um yeah we might even check out this little food thing right here because guys we weren't gonna say it we weren't gonna say it but we had a good 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 laugh this morning because we got us some coffee at the little coffee thing the little coffee shop in here and we got us a sandwich yeah. and uh our sandwich was frozen, guys. Frozen solid. The meat, it was crystallized. But you couldn't see it from the packaging. We didn't know it until we opened it. All right, we got it in the bag here. We are like, we'll put it in the bag and we'll save it for later. A couple hours from now, we can eat that thing. Because um, it was a very expensive sandwich. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, so we didn't even get to eat. So, I'm kind of hungry still. So, we might check this out over here or something. I don't know, guys. But, uh, yeah, we'll do something. But, come on. Let's, Let's go. go Okay, guys, real quick, I just wanted to stop and talk to you for just a second. We are at this booth. It's called Polonk. Um, I had to be told that because I really had no idea how to pronounce that, guys. This is a, um, a French company, and it turns out, because I had never heard of this brand before, but this, guys, is the number one, the leading battery-operated um, product in Europe, guys. Um, so they are really great, and this, this is not for residential owners either this is for because this is commercial grade battery operated equipment only only for you know um commercialized lawn care crews um he was talking about you know the lifetime of these batteries this is the only one of the only lithium batteries that can be actually um maintained or maintenance like uh, it's not one that just out of after so long it um you know it just is done for and you have to replace it completely they can actually be maintenance they can actually get wet. Look at this, guys. This is super awesome. Can you see the battery life? It's slashing away and it's getting completely wet. It's been in this display <laughs> all day, guys. And this thing is, uh, it looks perfectly fine. So this uh, battery equipment can actually get wet. And I'm really, I don't have, like I keep saying, I don't have uh, much experience with battery operated equipment, but uh, as far as I knew, you know, I would have assumed that you probably do not want to get most of that stuff wet. But, uh, yeah, guys, it's, the guy he's uh, telling, he's been telling us about the stuff. 
He's been super, super kind. They seem like a really awesome company. They uh, they have uh, multiple divisions. They've had the battery operated um, division for I think he said 10 to 15 years. Like he says the number one is the leading battery operated producer out of Europe. Um, but they have an, an agriculture division where they um, actually uh, produce and manufacture big, big tractors for big wineries and stuff like that, which I thought was super, super awesome. So Polonc is uh, the correct pronunciation. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little shot down here. I've got their, um, their website, their Facebook, their Instagram, and their YouTube. So uh, I'm going to do a little um, picture of that on the screen, guys. And if you're like, I mean, this, the battery operated stuff is pricey, guys. It is. But it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run. And um, like I said, you know, and people know you get what you pay for. So um, if any of you guys are in the market for wanting to try some of this stuff out, I'd say um, it's, a, I feel like it, from what he was telling us, it's a super, super awesome company. And I feel like they um, manufacture a wonderful product just from what I've seen and what he's told us about them. So, guys, let me uh, do a little close up of their. Um, website and stuff but uh if anything just go on there and uh, check out their facebook or check out their youtube and give them a like and tell us and tell them that a and b lawn care sent you there so maybe guys maybe one day they might be sponsoring us but uh yeah guys <laughs> come on We've been making, I feel like, a lot of connections. We've been talking to a lot of people um, about their brands and stuff. Um, but this is another one where um, another brand I haven't heard of. 
I feel terrible because, guys, I don't want to pronounce this wrong. I should have asked them already how to pronounce it, but I guess it's, I'm going to say Yakta. I don't know. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, guys, they're talking about, they're, they're doing so many giveaways and so many cool things here today. Um, but they are saying if <laughs> they, they're giving away hats, and they said if there's people they got walking around, and if they see you uh, wearing one of their hats, they'll give you $250. So, <laughs> I told Harley, I was like, switch your hat out right now. <laughs> so uh, we put the Amy Lawn Care hat in the bag. And uh, now he's wearing his hat here. But uh, yeah, guys, they got some really cool, cool looking mowers. I mean, these mowers are very, very sleek looking. They're they're blacked out. Like uh, every single part on them is black. I think that is a really cool. You know, it's just got a really cool, cool mean look to it. And uh, they seem like really awesome, awesome mowers. And the... Um, the staff that they have working here is super, super kind. So, uh, if I can, I'll try to look, get you a website, guys. Maybe you might, um, you might check them out. So, they seem like they're pretty awesome, guys. So, go check them out. Tell them A&B Lawn Care sent you. Okay, guys, real quick, too. I'm still in the same <laughs> place. But I just uh, just noticed that because I just went over and I showed you guys the sign. But uh, these mowers are run off of Kawasaki engines. So, that's great. That's what our Cub Cadets are run off of. Um... The older model Cub Cadets, or at least the ones that we used to have, um, were run on Kohler engines. But here recently, as far as what I've noticed, all the new models are Kawasaki. That's what both of our zero turns are now. And I've been noticing, guys, that a lot, a lot, a lot of mowers here are run off the Kawasaki engines. So, um, I know that other things will go into it, you know, all the other parts and everything. But, um... We've had nothing but excellent, excellent experience with the Kawasaki engines. They've been strong, and I'm telling you, like, and I know this is, we shouldn't have done it, but we have mowed stuff that was way, way thicker than, like, stuff that really, really should have been bush hog. Like, stuff like you've seen us bush hog if you've been watching our channel. But, uh, yeah, the mowers run straight through it, no problems. Um, just chopping it down. So, guys, I feel like any mower that has a kawasaki engine is probably worth trying you know because we do have experience with that even though we don't have experience with this brand personally we do have experience with those engines so uh, just wanted to just to say that really quick while i'm standing here waiting on harley to get done but uh yeah guys don't sleep on the kawasaki engines Okay, guys, real quick, one last time at this booth before we leave. Turns out that was pretty much the correct pronunciation, Yakta. Um, that's Australian, and Yak means hard worker. And tough. Means thank you. So that is so awesome, guys. Yes, and that first mower, the one on the front that I showed you, um, that had that big like tiller thing on the front. Tell them about that. It's a snowboard. The way it is, the way it works with their mowers, they have one lever right in the middle of the deck. You raise that up, and it will disconnect you from whatever attachment you're connected to, like a quick net. Then you can back your mower up, go over to your other attachment, hook it down, put the, put the lever down, and you went from a mower to, you'd say you have a 60-inch deck, you need a 33 or 40 or whatever, you go through a gate. Switch to your smaller size deck, now you can go through the gate. You need to switch to your snowblower. Pull the lever, back up, hook up to your snow, snowboard, boom, now you're a snowboard. One machine that does it all. That is. Their whole goal was they're looking at the commercial guys and they realize you have 10, 15 pieces of equipment on your <laughs> one trailer. On your crew, <laughs> and that's 10 motors that have to be maintained, 10 oil changes, 10 fans of smart plugs, air filters, just all that stuff that's continuous maintenance all year round. Yeah. And now you can just have one machine that, that does it all. That's so cool, one guys. One motor to maintain, huh? one oil change. We've seen a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, we haven't seen that. That's really awesome. And guys, like uh, we did a little clip earlier. I can't remember the brand on it now, but like you've seen that deck that it uh, flips up and or like you know you don't even have to take it off. It flipped up and out where you can just pop them uh, blades off and change them really quickly. Guys, like the technology that we have on this equipment. Because guys, like I said, I mean we've been in lawn care for several years now since 2017, and. Um, 
and we haven't really looked at new equipment really hardly no. since then. <laughs> like, it's been so, long. so we did not know. We had no idea the advancement of technology with with the lawn care equipment. Like, my mind is literally blown, and I'm just so impressed. And I'm so thankful for these manufacturers and people out here trying to better this equipment for people because. Um, uh, property maintenance that's going to be one of those things that is not going out you know no matter what i know there's people pushing for you know no gas power stuff but either way at the end of the day that 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 lawn's going to have to be maintained so um whether it's with the battery powered whether it's with gas powered maintenance is always key yeah it's going to have to be done and it's a it's a profitable business guys if any of you are out there and you're considering starting a lawn care service just do it it's a necessity just if do you, it if you have the means to do it if it's not gonna burden you, don't, don't. Oh, I quit yeah. my job today, and you don't even have the setup. You gotta, you gotta have the setup first. Yeah. Or if all, even if all you got is a weed eater and a push mower. That's all you need. That's all you need. Go out there, ask your neighbors, ask somebody. Hey, can I mow your yard yes. for this price? They, okay, chances are they're gonna let you do it. The worst they can say is no. No, I mean that's the worst the they can yard. say. The worst they can say is no. And honestly, guys, that don't even hurt your feelings. The first no was the worst. Everyone yeah. after that is <laughs> that's just, just no. Give you <laughs> It's just going to give you the encouragement to go on and do more. Once you get your first note, hey, whatever. You're like, okay, okay, thank you. It wasn't meant to me. Thank you if you ever need me. Here's, Here's my, my car. car at me. Yes, and guys, nine out of ten times, if you're there, you got your equipment there, their yard is overgrown, you're already there. They will probably want you to mow it. And, and they you know, can think of it as this. I can pay you such and such amount. You're going to do all the hard work. I'm going to go inside and relax, and when I come back out, it's going to be done. Yeah, and guys, I mean, most people are going to go for it because most people don't want to mow their yard, and that's fine. If they're working a full-time job somewhere else, you. you know, that I, it's understandable. It's understandable. I don't even want to mow my yard when I get <laughs> home, and, I, and I'm a lawn care professional, so I completely understand, guys, and we're thankful because, like Harley just said, that gives us a job. But, uh, yeah, we just wanted to take a minute. We still have not made it outside. <laughs> We're going to offload this bag. bag. Yeah, and we got to be back inside because at 3 o'clock we have to be at Spencer's booth um, to see if we won what they're giving away. Yes, guys, we didn't even film that. But, uh, yeah, we did this thing. They're doing a – you take a photo on the walk behind. Uh, and uh, at 4 o'clock they're going to give it away. Uh, <laughs> guys, could you believe, like, if we won that thing? I can't even – my mind's like – I'm trying to prepare myself, like – if we were to possibly win it. Like, that would be... <laughs> like, Unreal. I mean, I, I'll go to God because he's the only one that can make it happen. Yeah. But either way, you know, even either if we way, don't win cool. it, somebody, somebody's, somebody's going somebody's home with that mower. Home. That's the thing. There are several mowers being given away. Some Several people are going home with mowers. That's so Today, awesome. Tomorrow, so awesome. $15,000 South Beside giveaway tomorrow. Guys, you got to try to come next year. Guys, we're yes. We're going to be here in Lord Run every year that we can. Yeah. So... All right, that's uh, so come meet us. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys. All right, so let's go outside. Come on.
right before this, we, <laughs> we met Spencer's lawn care guys. I cannot. I'm fanning over here. I really am. I was so nervous. My heart was like racing because like we seen them. We're like, okay. Because earlier we were over here. They weren't here. You guys seen that? But uh, I figured they were in the building. But um, they were yeah. actually doing a, a interview conference. So that was cool. Yeah. So we're um, they're doing a giveaway for a really really cool backpack blower, um, which is going to be happening here in less than ten minutes. So we're over here. This is their crowd of people waiting for this giveaway. Guys, there's a lot of people that showing up for them. They have a. Uh, a lot of people want to take pictures with them. They're so kind. They're taking photos with the children, with everyone. We were able to walk straight up to them, and guys, they were so kind. They didn't hesitate to stand there and talk with us, to do a photo with us, and to give us advice on the channel. And just thankful to hear our story too. Like I said, we're happy to share our story with them. And guys, they said they they might check out our channel. So guys, please go ahead, show them some love in the comments, guys. Show them some love. <laughs> Spencer's Lawn Care. If you're not subscribed, which I'm, I, I'm, you probably are, because I know guys, a lot of you guys are, were already subscribed to their channel before you way ever found us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 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 go check them out, guys. And it's all, it's one thing too when you like know somebody or you like watch their videos or you kind of know them through this kind of relationship. And uh, yeah, and, and they're actually really kind people, and they really care, and they take the time, and they, they look you straight in the face, and you know, you can tell that, that you have their attention, they're not just doing it for the views, you know, they're not even, they're not even trying to do videos or nothing over here, and that doesn't seem like, you know, they're about, they're here um, interacting with their people, and just doing the photos, and just having conversation. And that means a lot, guys. I really do. Yeah, and it just seems like, you know, they are super awesome, guys. We, uh, their shoot blockers personally won't go on our mowers, but they will on the new Cub Cadet uh, model. So, guys, if you have one of the new Cub Cadets, uh, go over there and shoot over there to their uh, website and pick up their shoot blocker. It's a little pricey, but guys, it's worth it, you know, because uh, say something flies out of that mower and busts a window oh, or something, awesome. you know, that's a lot more. You know, that's that's more than a couple hundred dollars. So, uh, spend a few hundred dollars on a good... It saves you amount of time, too, you know. Just mulching everything up, keeping it right there. Instead of spreading it, like when you're mulching leaves, instead of blowing it out, and then you got to go back over it, it's just going to keep it in, finally grind it up, and then there you go. Yeah. Beautiful stripes. So, yeah, guys. Or if you're just in an area where you, like, uh, there's some places we mow where it's really tight on both sides, and you just, you you can't pick and choose which way you want to blow something, just close that off, guys, and you don't have to worry about it. But, uh... But yeah, guys, we're standing here. It's almost time for the giveaway. But I just wanted to tell you that was so that could have been. Thank you all so yes, much for telling, telling us. us to come here and look for them and giving us the courage to walk up here and say something. Yeah, guys, we, we were nervous. We were, thinking, we're like, I don't know. Like, ah, let's just do should it. we do it? <laughs> and we saw our opportunity and we went. And I'm so thankful, guys, because they couldn't be more kind. They are such kind, down-to-earth people, just real-life people. And please, just go check their... After you click off this video, go straight to their channel and watch one of their videos. But, uh... Come back and tell us what you thought. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, let's just... Let's uh, hang out here for this giveaway, and then uh, we'll see what else we can do. Come on.
here. We're at the Cub Cadet booth again. Um, we're waiting here with everybody else. They're about to do a giveaway on this mower right here, guys. And it's a beauty. It's a stand up to walk behind, just like what we've been <laughs> what we've been wanting. So uh, it would be a miracle from the Lord if we went home with that thing today. But um, like I said earlier in the video, somebody's going home with that thing. So if it's not us, it will be somebody. And uh, I'm very thankful and happy for whoever wins it because honestly, whoever gets this machine, it's it's going to be. I know it's going to be a fantastic machine, guys. It's going to be so awesome. But a uh, fun thing that just happened to us too. We just met B and B lawn care. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, Great guys. People we met him and his wife. That was so cool. Yeah, he stood there just the same as Spencer's lawn care. Stood there, he talked to us, shook our hands. You know, looked at us right in our face. Told us, you know, <laughs> gave us some <laughs> gave us some tips on our channel. Said he would check our channel out too, guys. Like, can you believe it? <laughs> That's so awesome. Like, I I can't even believe that we've met. Like, cause to us, you know, these are like big time celebrities you know like for real and yes because like you know in the mowing world for sure and uh that's just so awesome i can't even believe it and that the people that these guys are so humble and so kind you know and it's uh it's refreshing you know and i'm very thankful because a lot of times you, yeah, yeah. Cause, you know, a lot of times people that have like a big status sometimes uh don't have time for you don't want to talk to you but uh these guys are not like that these guys are not like that at all they're real people Spencer's lawn care, B and B lawn care, straight up A plus kind of people, guys. They're they're awesome. Blades of grass lawn care. I yeah, know we, you're a cool guy. We didn't We're get to talk middle, to him. Yeah, we didn't want to interrupt your video. You're yeah, doing a great job. Yeah, he was filming. He was filming a video, so we didn't get to talk to him. And I guess uh, we we thought we might run back into him again, but this place is huge, guys. So honestly, running into somebody. He's got a <laughs> gotta be i can't remember the time but he's he's, he's here yeah but uh that was so awesome guys i cannot believe the fun time that we've had but uh yeah we still have a few more minutes here but uh we'll come back and we're probably gonna have to end the video after this here in just a few minutes guys because uh, earlier when we were outside it did it continued to rain it started raining much much harder and uh everybody pretty much everybody came in um but we've been walking around i feel like We've had a long day here. We're we'll probably, after this, we're probably going to go ahead and call it a day for day two. And then tomorrow will be day three, and then it'll be our last day. But uh, it's been so, so fun. So we'll let you guys know how this giveaway goes, and uh, we'll walk around, look at a few more things. But, uh, but yeah, guys, so it's been awesome. So let's go. We'll wait and see, and we'll let you know who won it. All right, okay. guys. <laughs> yes, guys, we finally. That was like 15 minutes. Like, this was the craziest thing. Everybody was just in awe. They, I'm no joke. There I were have so many people that entered in this. I mean, I know they're happy. Every time we we were there, there was people entering in. Yeah, I mean, you've seen it. I mean, it's like what, like a several thousand dollar yeah, mower. Like so, mower. like, yeah, people are entering, but they named off. No joke. I kid you not. Four, Fifty <laughs> names before, before they found five. somebody that was there, and <laughs> the whole deal was you have to be there. Hey, give, do you have any of our cards left? Give them one of our cards. That was so awesome. But yes, guys, they um, they called out over 50 names. Yeah, yeah, check our channel out. Okay. <laughs> hey, you'll be in it. All right. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Um, yeah. That was so awesome, guys. But they called out like 50 something names before there was finally a guy that wanted that Stephen. <laughs> Lucky Steven, that was so awesome, guys. Like, and he was he was so hilarious. Just funny because when he finally, when he finally got up there, do a speech, and he's like, "Thank y'all for waiting for me." Yes, thank you. It was so funny because I love it. I love it. all of us were just standing there. Everybody was crickets. We're looking around like they they um, expired their whole list. They had like three paper, three or four paper lists with five names each on it. We went through every single one of those. Then they had to go pull their phones out. They had to go to the online registry and just start scrolling and calling, scrolling and calling. And they called over. so many names. It got to the point where he was just reading the names out like back to back, like, a, like it was a roll for a classroom or something. <laughs> um, but finally, finally, finally Stephen. <laughs> and everybody's heart was just, just racing because everybody, you know, knew we Somebody could be the next name <laughs> and the anticipation was killing us but it was so awesome and i'm very very i'm happy for steven that's an awesome mower and i know that he's gonna love it but uh yeah guys we probably will go ahead and we'll probably yeah, end this yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah guys thank you so so much it's been a wonderful day shout out once again to spencer's lawn care spencer's lawn care b and b lawn care 
blades of grass, long hair. Yeah, those guys, and then uh, long commander. That's and what y'all are all the best. We've seen so many people here. It's just a wonderful place. We cannot wait to be here again next year. Yes, guys, this has been so awesome. If you haven't checked this out and you can, please come out next year. Please come try to find us and meet us because we want to meet you and we want you to see all this stuff that's out here to see. But, uh, guys, yeah, thank you so much. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please, guys, go ahead and subscribe. And please share this video. Share it, share it, share it. We got to get out there. We got to get in that algorithm. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we had such a wonderful time and we cannot wait to do it again next time. So, until next time, see you.